Salcedo Auctions invites you to its forthcoming sale of important Philippine art, including important Philippine furniture and tribal and ethnographic art, on Saturday, the 14th of March, 2 p.m. at its main Ayala Avenue sale room as we showcase a fine range of works that redefine legacy as part of our 10th anniversary. Bannering the sale is the largest selection of works from a single period ever offered at auction by the vanguard modernist national artist H.R. Ocampo. This trio of paintings of sterling provenance and documentation provides a rare insight into the development of the artist's iconic abstract style during the 1960s. His use of lines, shapes, and colors tempered with a range of tonalities and textures, creating a distinct visual language. The group is anchored by Gemini, a 1967 oil masterpiece where the artist's nuanced use of warm colors creates the illusion of a pulsating canvas. Inspired by the twin waterfalls of Maria Cristina in the Agus River of Mindanao, the painting is a precursor to what is widely regarded as the artist's chef d'oeuvre, the monumental genesis that hangs in the CCP main theater. This preeminent grouping engages with the collection of one of the country's most distinguished jewelry artists, Celia Molano. The quintessential art patron, Mrs. Mulano has had the distinct privilege of counting national artists such as Ocampo, Ankyo Kok, and Arturo Luz among her closest friends. Included in the collection are striking oils on canvas works gifted to her by Ang, and rare preparatory drawings, paintings, and sculptures by Luz. The proponents of modernism are well represented in the sale including the likes of national artist Vicente Manansala, Galo Ocampo, Diosdado Lorenzo, Jose Pardo, and Anita Magsaysay Ho. Juvenal Sanso shows an extremely rare Manhattan scene painted in 1962, while national artist Cesar Legaspi explores rhythmic figures and shapes, creating a symphony of contrasting colors in this bold 1970 oil on board. Joining their fellow national artists are Fernando Amorsolo, Napoleon Abueva, Jose Hoya, and Ben Cab, whose life-sized work displays his consummate skill as a draftsman. Also featured in the sale are works displaying the breadth of Philippine abstract art. Nena Sagil, one of the first female proponents of the avant-garde draws viewers into a sea of cerulean, a veritable microcosm within her celebrated body of work. Roberto Chabet experiments with acrylic and collage in these rare, early, Cheque series works from the Luis Romero collection in New York. Lee Aguinaldo's singular Burnt Siena Circulation from 1975 brings his iconic geometric expressionism to the sale. His saturated hues contrasting with Lao Lian Ben's large early works. The first, an ode to haiku. The second, bringing to mind the gold-leafed mosaic details of Gustav Klimt and Art Nouveau. Also of note are the plays on line, shape, and the human figure in the sculptures of Ramon Orlina, and Solomon Saprid. The auction continues with leading names in Philippine contemporary art, including David Medalia, Emmanuel Garibay, Elmer Borlongan, Rodel Tapaya, Ronald Ventura, Jigger Cruz, and Elaine Navas. Widely acclaimed abstractionist Justin Noida joins this select group with four paintings especially made for this auction, the proceeds of which will go towards assisting the Kaith Foundation in their admirable efforts to improve the quality of life of children who are battling cancer 
and other chronic illnesses. This sale also includes a stellar lineup of fine Philippine furniture and antiquities, beginning with an extremely rare and important 10-seater dining table in Balayong and Kamagong, crafted by the propagandist Maximo Viola, who produced very few of these exquisite pieces in his lifetime. Embodying illustrado refinement, the table is framed auspiciously by an excellent rope pattern, with fish and birds surrounding the beautifully sectioned top. The apron is a cornucopian bounty of fruits, each carved with intense dedication to detail. Its accompanying chairs, with their infinity or eight pattern backrests, are equally ornate. This set boasts not only masterful craftsmanship, but also sterling pedigree. Having once belonged to the Padillas of Quiapo, Manila, an influential family whose history traces back to their line of businesses dating to the 1800s and who, it is believed, were gifted this set by Viola himself. Strong traces of Chinese influence can be found in these 18th and 19th century Hispano-Filipino ivory religious figures and in this beautiful and well-kept mid-century Ming-style komoda, its sakang or arched legs, a design style reserved typically for altar tables, make it rare amongst its kind. The whole piece is brought together without use of nails, employing wooden pegs and custom-fit panels that slide into each other and lock each element into place. Also from the same period is an impressive Nara chest of drawers. Adding to its impressive design are its inlaid posts, decorated with a combination of kamagong and carabao bone that match perfectly with the ebony drawer pulls and ball footings. The collection moves towards northern Luzon with fine pieces showcasing the rich indigenous art of the Philippines, such as this pair of dancing bululs, their outstretched arms referring to a dancing person during the Kanyao celebration. Showcasing exceptional craftsmanship is a pukok or rice granary which was made from thick panels of mountain pine wood often assembled without nails, and a fine, mound-shaped, rectangular shield ornamented with a carved face of a man. With such a rich diversity of important works from a wide range of artists and artisans, this sale promises to be a veritable feast for collectors as we mark our first decade of well-appointed auctions with time-honored values that resonate today and that we hope will be passed on to succeeding generations. Preview starts on Friday the 6th of March and runs daily till Friday the 13th of March, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Salcedo Auctions, next hour, Ayala Avenue. The online catalog is available at salcedoauctions.com.